All right. It's uh, for my stove here, which I have out. Right. It's an electric stove. It's an Amana. Um, the one, the one um, uh, heating element. If you get it past a certain point, it just stays on, and you wind up burning everything. So <clears throat> this is on there like that, and you just pry them up. You gotta obviously <clears throat> do a good job putting it back together. But I'm gonna clean this all up, and uh, you can see in here. I don't know how well I can actually clean this, but um, this friggin' phone doesn't do. Uh, flash or for whatever reason but those contacts are pretty pretty beat up looks like there's contacts back here I'm gonna see if I can get in there with maybe I'll glue it on like a 90 degree pick so I can get in there and just kind of like clean it up a little bit what I did is I pulled it back gently I cleaned it up as best I could with some sandpaper and then I glued some sandpaper to that with some super glue and I'm gonna about to do those ones um, if you had like a Dremel tool or a rotary tool that would probably work really good now I, I'm not suggesting that you use the actual um, rotary tool just use the uh, bit they have uh, different kinds of bit you might have something with like a flat top or something like that it would work better and you basically just put it put it on it and spin it like that I got it cleaned up as best as I could I didn't want to take too much material off but um, using this, I couldn't spin it because this one I could, because on the back side here, you can actually push it up and out of the channel. This one here, I couldn't. Um, if I had like a smaller, used a smaller nail or something like that, or maybe an eraser, glue it to an eraser or on a pencil or something, because uh, once you get in here, you can't really spin it because you're up against the inside there. I'm gonna blow it out. Deox it and some brush action. Make sure I get it all. This stuff is expensive. I, I wouldn't advise doing what I did. I used it as a cleaner, but it's expensive. It was like $14 for that little can. But this stuff is awesome. I use it for automotive all the time. And clean both sides of those brushes up pretty good. more and now I'm gonna blow it out and I'm gonna put a little bit of like uh, silicone grease on there that's where the what is that the sliders right on I'm gonna put a little whoop, I'll put a little dab on there and uh, I'm gonna grease this up too and that should be it it should work pretty good I'm gonna blow it out Now you can see like I didn't get all the pitting out, but I really don't want to keep uh, going down. That's a lot better than it was. I don't want to keep going down because I don't want it to not make contact. It's already going to need, you know, this may not even work. So I'm trying it to clean it up and see if it works. If not replace it. That's all. It's not hard to do but it's worth a try. Okay, I got a little dab of grease in the center there, the bore, and on those tips, whoops, on those tips, and a little bit on there, and on the wheel. Wheel has like the, how it pushes down on the, um, I don't even know what you would call those, uh, contacts. Um, and this goes in here. And uh, hopefully I put, this on the correct way. All cleaned up. Certainly clean enough to eat off of if you uh, um, lost a bet. That's scratched, that's the drywall. If you lost a bet, it's clean enough to eat off of. Got it back together. Stick it in the hole here. All right. You gotta match the other ones. And you screw it in. And that's it. Got the sides cleaned up. Cleaned up a little bit over the top here, it was a little greasy. But I gotta put these screws back in. But basically, if you see how it's kind of like arched like that, 
I basically put a screwdriver in there and then ran this like that to get it over the lip. That's why I had that loose so it gives me a little bit of movement. So I'll tighten that down, put the two screws in each side, and then that's done. I use this stuff. This stuff is fantastic. Okay, it's back in. See if it works. Oh yeah, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know, usually when you get up around 8, that's when it would have problems. It would just stay on. I don't know if this is going to work or not. And uh, just have to wait. Let's see if it works. Um, I don't know if you can pick that up. But it appears like it yeah, yep. Alright. Never mind. Okay, so it's working. Let's turn it up a little higher. Okay, so it seems like this was so far successful. Right now I have it on 10, I believe. Get that to go off and then I'll be happy with that. Usually what will happen is uh, if you have it up usually like right around 8 or something like that, it will stay on and not cut off. And even if you turn the dial down to like 5, 4, or 3, or 2, um, you literally have to turn it completely off. Um, there's a little bit of smoke coming off it. I did just wash it. But this, I got to... Figure out how all this comes apart. I want to take this apart and clean this up real good. It's gross in there. So far, so good, but I'm waiting for it to turn off. I don't know if it's going to turn off on 10. I'm going to turn it down a little. Oh, it did turn off. Okay. All right. I'm uh, happy with it until the next one goes out. Sweet. Tired of burning pancakes.